Okay, 10 minute game, zero increment. Let's hit this pawn in the center. Let's grab it. Support the pawn. Develop the bishop, ready for a bit of castling. Let's don't move the knight, it's all simple. Castle. Let's get the bishop in. Okay, pause for a second. Something feels beneficial for us. Okay, let's go small potatoes here with the pawn. Let's move there dead quick with the queen. What's he planning? Some eventual this, but that pawn has to move. And that queen move means something. So I think I need to get my knight across here. Get the rooks across here. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. Give my king a bit of company. So I think they were planning on bringing the forces here. Now he's going to hit the center. Could push the pawn. Get two little soldiers blocking that area. Could take. Then he's got his dark square bishop blocked in. I suppose he does have that. Hmm. What shall we do? Or oh, shall we fight on? But the knight just comes here and attacks the bishop. Come here with the attack. We come here blocking our bishop. I'm going to take the knight off the board. Right, so let's, can we push? Look to be a bit of a menace. I think we're going to do that. Rook's opposite our queen, so I'll probably get it offline. And could move the knight. Where do we move it to? Move it here. Yep, let's move the knight. Get the queen off the line, or here, like we said before. Knight's jumping in here for a two or... Oh, it's not. Interesting times. Queen takes, knight's jumping in there anyway. We just scoot up a bit, but then the bishop's got this. So are we probably best taking with the bishop? Let's take with the bishop. Can bring the knight here to attack the knight. Got to get this queen off of there. Let's attack the knight. Simple capture. Got to get this queen off like I keep saying. It's going to be coming down. Just capture, capture. Oh, too late to the party. Let's hit the queen with a lesser piece. Greedy munching queen. I'm constantly reversing the thought process every time the queen takes a pawn because it usually does mean that they're going to lose a bit of tempo or the position just isn't right for them. I'm going to attack the queen again. So we're harassing the queen again. It's probably going to come here for getting the queen is protecting. No, they're not doing do we have tempo to double up? I don't think we do, do we? But we could bring it up warm. Bring the queen up. Get the rook behind. This bishop's chomping at the bit to get there, so I don't think we'll be able to get the rook behind, will we? So we could push this pawn first. No. Could bring the queen up. Looks a bit more proactive, doesn't it? Stopping the pawn from coming down. But really, we want to support the rook. I'm going to go there first anyway. I think the rook's going to look for an exchange. Because they're plus one. Is 
that or that, one of these two moves. Yeah, there we go. So if we did take his rook takes, we don't we haven't got a balancer here at the moment. So we could just bring the rook up. He doesn't have a balancer there either, so if he takes, then at least we can take with the queen. So the rook's not coming there. So we are looking to be simple and just get the rook behind here if we can. But they may block that off with this bishop here, controlling this square. So even if we pushed here, we can still take it. So we'd have to do a small potato move to do that. But that's probably going to be too slow. We shall see. Oh, we can't. But we can't. It's got the queen next ring through to the king. So it's additional moves. So we're going to just bring the rook across like we said. Like we said. Get the queen off. So we're owning a fire, which is crucial for the rook. I know the plus one, but it's, it's quite crucial because we can drop here, giving them... Ah, he's protecting one pawn, then this bishop's going to protect this pawn. We've got a white square bishop, which lovely diagonal, but our pawn is blocking. Eee, so we'd have to squeeze in here to come here to come here. <laughs> ah, I'm laughing, but that's the only thing I've got, so we'll go here. And then go here. Ouch. Let's take on the pawn. Pushes, takes, bishops. Oh, and then my pawn's on a dark square. I don't think we're taking then, are we? I'll have to hit this pawn. Oh, we're going to lose that pawn, aren't we? <sighs> Delicate operate. Oh, I can't. Leave. Oh, well, I suppose. Bishop can come down and take. White square. White square. King. It looks like it's going to be a draw. So he's just going to defend there, isn't it? Although if I move too far, if he goes down. And we take. Yeah, okay, let's move up. Let's move up. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so the king's going back. I, I think it's looking like it's going to be a draw. But 
But if we go there, maybe the king could have come round and come round and come round and supported. So coming round, coming round, coming round, coming round, get the bishop off the board. I don't know if that's going to work, but it's the only kind of option we have really. Let's go here. Well, he can just stay there, can't he? I won't get past. <laughs> it's a draw. And I can't get onto this square because the bishop's blocking to support attacking here. And I'm never getting past here. Unless, of course, my bishop moves. So if I go like this and then I move the bishop, move the king. If I move the bishop. Move the king goes here. Let's bring the bishop here, then we can get the bishop off the board. It's going for our bishop, sink it here, and then sink it here. It's like they've left the game. A delicate ending. Quite enjoyed that. Hmm.